welcome to another Sutton Brain Hub video. This one covers the hypothalamus, which is located either side of the third ventricle. It's relatively small when considering its fast functional importance, but it's related to physiological functions and limbic functions. Anatomists find it a bit of a problem area, really, because it's very difficult to define and distinguish. So the best thing we can do is to talk about the structures that surround it in order to define the space that it occupies. So here we have the optic chiasm anteriorly. Look out for that. That forms a lower border of the hypothalamus and it's of course where we get decussation of those optic nerve fibres. We're going to skip past the pituitary gland which we'll come back to later and we reach some structures known as the mammary bodies which are protrusions from the undersurface of the hypothalamus often considered to be a functional extension of the hypothalamus. A really important one for me is the hypothalamic sulcus, a defining groove between the thalamus and the hypothalamus. If you've ever had difficulty distinguishing between the two, the hypothalamic sulcus is something to look out for. We also have the anterior commissia, an extension of the corpus callosum, specifically sharing information between the two temporal lobes. Its partner in crime, of course, is the posterior commissia, which shares information between the two hemispheres and is an extension of the corpus callosum posteriorly. So those two landmarks are two superior landmarks worth looking out for. A structure which isn't often talked about, and you probably won't need to remember it, but the lamina terminalis forms the anterior border of the hypothalamus. It extends between the anterior commissia and the optic chiasm. We're now going to move on to the pituitary gland itself, which is, of course, the main functional output, really, from the uh, influence of the hypothalamus. The infundibulum is the pituitary stalk. It connects the hypothalamus to the pituitary gland itself. The pituitary gland we can simplify as comprising of three parts. The anterior pituitary, responsible for the production of six hormones under control from hypothalamic nuclei. We have the posterior pituitary, which stores hormones couple of hormones which are produced by hypothalamic nuclei and the final part is a bit in the middle which is important for melanocyte stimulating hormone production not often talked about but we will put it on here for completion it's the pars intermedium so that's our pituitary gland that just leaves us with one last structure to name here which is a structure known as the median eminence which is posterior to the optic chiasm and connects the posterior pituitary to the hypothalamus so that is the median eminence the hypothalamus itself really is just a bunch of nuclei or groups of nuclei we're going to run through those now mentioning some very briefly and uh, elaborating on a few others first of all we have the scn the suprachiasmatic nucleus we're not going to say too much about that then we have the supraoptic nucleus, the SON. This is important for the production of antidiuretic hormone, which is important for controlling small blood vessel contraction, raises blood pressure, etc. We've got the ARN, which is the arcuate nucleus. We're not going to say too much about that. We've got the POA, which is the preoptic area. And we also have the AHA, the anterior hypothalamic area. This blue one coming on is fairly important. This is the paraventricular nucleus, important for the production of ADH and oxytocin. Oxytocin is important for the contraction of myoepithelial cells in the mammary glands and important for myometrial cell contraction in the uterus. So that's the PAVN, that's an important one. So the SON and the PAVN are the important ones to remember. We've got the VMN, which is the ventromedial nucleus. We've got the DMN, which is the ventro, the dorsomedial nucleus. We've got the DHA, which is the dorsal hypothalamic area. And we've got the PHA, which is the posterior hypothalamic area. Subscribe to Sultan Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.